So, um, so let's just call the meeting to order. Uh, so it was three and a half months ago that we first did a meeting on Zoom with the thought that we might have to do another meeting on Zoom. And here we are in the middle of July with no end in sight. So this is the new normal, I guess. In accordance with the current shelter-in-place orders, this planning commission meeting is not physically open to the public. Limited staff are present in the council chambers, and planning commission is participating remotely via video call. Members of the planning commission can use the reaction choices in Zoom to indicate they would like to speak. Um, those haven't worked so good in the past, so but we seem to be managed. Anyway, as always, this meeting is cable cast live on Charter Communications Cable TV Channel 8 and is being recorded to be rebroadcast on the following Wednesday at 8 a.m. and on Saturday following the first rebroadcast at 1 p.m. on Charter Channel 71 and Comcast Channel 25. Meetings can also be viewed live from the city's website with the Zoom meeting link also available on our website. Our technician tonight is on. Public comments can be emailed or called into planning commission. Members of the public may submit public comment once for each item by email or phone call. You may not submit more than one email or call per item. With that said, uh, we'll do a roll call, which we will do by Zoom participants, showing uh, Nick Ruth present, Peter Wilk present, T.J. Welch present, myself present, and Courtney Christensen not present as of yet. Next is the Pledge of Allegiance. So uh, we'll give that another try. So there you go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States, States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands. And one, one nation, nation for God, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. Oh. Okay, good. All the commissioners remembered the pledge. That's excellent. <laughs> Matt, do you have any additions or deletions to the agenda? No. <laughs> Matt, don't do this. I can't. Matt, you're on mute. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know we're going to get the weird reverb. I don't know how to get around it, but no, no additions or deletions. Yeah, we got to do it with the, with the you know, feedback. Okay, no additions or deletions. The next uh, item is public comments. This is an opportunity for members of the public to address the commission on matters that are not on the agenda. We will pause for a couple of minutes to see if anyone has anyone so far sent in any comments or public comments. Apparently not. The members of the public have a little more time to do that by email if they wish. You have no comments at this time. We have several attendees, but nobody yet has raised their hand. Can you show the attendees on your uh, screen? I can see them. I can't tell if anybody's raised their hand, so you have to call. Okay. We have four attendees, but nobody yet has raised their hand.
Okay, I think that should do it for public comments. Do any of the commissioners have any comments to make at this point? No comments. Okay, and the staff, anything to add from the staff? No. 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 The staff is uh, being uh, unusually quiet today. Um, so that takes us to the approval minutes of June 4, 2020 regular meeting. I assume everyone uh, received a copy of those. Do we have any changes or corrections, or if not, a motion to approve? I move we approve the minutes. Is there a second? A second. Is that uh, Commissioner Christensen? That's Commissioner, yes, it is. Okay, good. So you are present. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> we need to do um, a roll call. Commissioner Ruth? Here. You approve minutes? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Christensen? Yes. Commissioner Wilk? Aye. Commissioner uh, Wilk? Yes. And I also approve, so that approves unanimously. So the next item is the consent calendar. We have one item on the consent calendar, which is a um, design permit for the property at 111 Saxon Avenue. It's the conversion of an attached garage for living space and a new detached airport for an existing two-story single-family residence located within the R1 single-family residential zoning district. Does anyone, any, do any of the commissioners wish to have this heard in a public hearing? We will take a minute to see if anyone in the public wishes to have this heard by public hearing. Sean is sprinting back upstairs. He'll be back on in a sec with the public comment. You say there is some someone from the public? I don't know. He's gonna. I don't know. He's gonna check. All right. You guys hear me? Yes. Okay. So I've got the director's report here. Um, as you've probably heard, due to the number of COVID-19 cases. Comment on. Avenue. What was that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, there are no comments as of this time. Okay, hold, hold off on that report for just a, a minute while okay. we wrap up the consent calendar. Uh, there has been no one asking for this to be removed from the calendar, so do we have a motion? Motion to approve the consent calendar. Second. Uh, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a roll call vote. Commissioner Ruth? Aye. Commissioner Wilk? Aye. Commissioner Welch? Aye. Commissioner Christensen? Aye. And the chair votes yes also, so that passes unanimously. And that does take us to the director's report. Okay, thank you. As you've probably heard, due to the number of COVID-19 cases in California continuing to rise, Governor Newsom issued a new statewide restrictions this past week. Under the new order, restaurants, winery, winery, sorry, wineries, movie theaters, family entertainment, zoos, museums, and card rooms must cease indoor operations and bars must close all operations. City planning staff has been contacting all Capitola restaurants about the availability of free permits for outdoor dining and setting up appointments for site visits with the building official to design outdoor seating areas that are safe and meet ADA requirements. 
If you hear about a restaurant expressing a desire to engage in outdoor dining to stay open during the pandemic, please let them know that there is information about free outdoor dining permits under the COVID-19 updates tab in the What's New section of the city's website and that they are welcome to contact city planning staff for more information. Um, second, I also wanted to provide the Planning Commission update about the two Queen Palms at 4199 Clare Street because during the review of the project, there are several, several planning commissioners expressed a desire to have the trees preserved. The owner was able to work with the owner of the adjacent property to the west, 4191 Clare Street, to relocate the palms to that property. The lot is very long and narrow and the trees will be located in the rear yard. If the Planning Commission does not have any objections, the city is planning to allow the relocation of the two Queen Palms prior to the issuance of the building permit for 4199 Clare Street. This action has no effect on the landscape plan for the project at 4199 Clare Street as the two Queen Palms were going to be removed as a part of the project anyway. And that's, that's it. Okay, well, um, I'm not sure if you're asking for any planning commission action because this so is kind of an unusual process there. No, okay. That's not normally the way we would uh, address on this issue. So, uh, anything further on the director's end? No. That is, that is it. Okay, commission. Communications. I just think it's great about the Queen Palms. I know, I know what the, what he's talking about. A lot of people like those palms, and they were in a bad place. They just needed to go, and they, you know, the city tried. City didn't want them, but thank goodness somebody actually uh, made it work. That's great news. Okay, I have a comment, which is I'm not sure this is planning commission jurisdiction, but. Uh, Today, there were 105 new uh, COVID cases reported in Santa Cruz County, which if you've been following the numbers, that's just huge. That's more than we had in all of um, April and March. Um, and there are 27 cases currently in Capitola that have been reported. I think we all see that there are lots of visitors to our community who don't seem to have gotten the memo. And I know we have signs up, but I don't know what we can do to be more proactive to um, try to protect our community from what appears to be a really spiking uh, spread in Santa Cruz County. So I just throw that out for anybody that happens to be listening to it. We can close the beaches on weekends. <laughs> It's not just the beaches, it's the people just walking all over town. Okay, anything further? If not, uh, this meeting will be adjourned until uh, the first meeting in August, which I'm sure will be virtual once again. See you then. Stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>